welcome back to my channel today. I am back and I am taking a nice little break from doing a Taylor Swift album makeup look. I'm super duper, you know, sad that we have to take this break, but it's going to be a super fun, cute pastel look today because it is, it was Easter over the weekend, um, lots of chocolate, oh, not many Easter egg hunts, but you know, that's me. And I have a new palette. Um, I have a Natasha Denona palette. I've never ever tried her palettes before, so this is the pastel palette. Um, it is half the size of the Norvina palette. Give me a sec. Got one right here. Ready? So this is my Norvina palette. That is the Natasha Denona. So realistically, yes, it is half the size of this of Norvina, but like double the cost because you know. Novena only cost you like $70, but Natasha Denona cost me $106. Uh, not a fan of that. So obviously I'm going to see if it actually is worth $100 because I will never ever pay that much money again for a palette if it doesn't live up to, you know, what it's worth and how much it costs. So obviously this is the inside of the palette. Nice, pretty pastels. Um, so yeah, it's going to be super fun. Uh, super fun Easter look today. I've got my grab, I've got my eyeliners, I've got all kinds of stuff today ready for it. So I am just ready to begin. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I'm not actually starting off this makeup look with Natasha Denona because you know, the color that I want to start off with is not in that palette. Instead, it is in my Here to Beauty Rose Pastels Mini Obsession palette. And I will be going in with the super fun matte yellow in this corner right here. And I'm going to be starting and just doing my inner corners. Well, it's going to be like a nice rainbow, rainbow pastel look. So just in the inner corners and inner of my under eye as well. Because we're going to do two birds, one stone. Each time I add a colour, it goes underneath my eyeball. Okay, so I've done that. It looks kind of cute to be honest. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be going in with the Natasha Denona palette. So we're going to get started with this one now. And we're going to use the Brisk color, which is like a minty kind of green. Um, we'll see how it goes. We'll see if it's nice and, you know, pigmented, if it shows up, because the rose pastels it did not. So I had to go in with Novena Volume 6. So I'm going to be very honest with you, it was very light, it was very sheer, not at all pigmented, it's not what I like to be honest. But we're going to keep going, we're going to go in with the airy which is the nice light blue, blending it in with the green. If not, again we're going to go back to trusty Norvina.
Okay, so I am not a fan of the Natasha Denona. Like, I'm sorry, but I cannot keep using it because it's so sheer that I hate it so much. So, we're going to go back in with Norvina Volume Number 6, my nice trusty rainbow palette. And I will be going in with the C1 colour, which is a beautiful, beautiful, nice pigmented purple, just to blend it with the blue. Okay, so now that I have done that and I absolutely hate it so much, I'm going to go in and I'm going to do a nice funky cut crease just to kind of clean it up a little bit because it just looks so dastardly. So I will do that and hopefully I should be right back making it look a little bit much, like much neater and much nicer. So yeah, I'm going to do that. I shall be right back. Alrighty, so now that I have in fact done that, I'm going to now use my Novena Volume 6 to essentially do the same thing, just as a liner on my eye. So I will be using B2, uh, probably B5, B1, uh, C1, and then uh, if anything I'm going to do a pink and C3. So yes, I'll just be doing that as a super fun liner. So now that I've done that, I'm now going to be lining all of this up. So just all of this bit here with my, um, what is this one called? Made by Mitchell Graphic Liner in the shade Milk, which is in fact my white liner. I do need more, so if someone wants to sponsor me with that, amazing. But <laughs> I will do that and I shall be right back because it looks awkward if I do it on camera. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, so now that I've done that, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be going in with my P. Louise Fall In Line liners. I've got my yellow, which is Life Gives You Lemon, and my pink, that is Piggy Bank. And I will be doing a nice yellow Easter egg and a pink Easter egg, and I'm going to add some bunny ears with my white liner as well. So this is going to be so fun. Okay, so while I finished off doing the uh, Easter eggs, which look kind of cute by the way, love it, I ended up adding some lashes as well. Just cuts out a lot of time just explaining what I did. So I'm going to now complete this makeup look with some lipstick. I am going in with the shade Muse. I, from Cuter Beauty, um, 
I swear I had a lighter pink lipstick, but I don't think I do, so that's fun. <laughs> that concludes my Easter makeup look for 2023 I think this is an absolute glam look and I'm gonna be very honest with you the Natasha Denona palette did not live up okay it is not worth $100 my goodness if anything $40-$50 range okay but because this is a shitty palette it sucks I wouldn't recommend buying it I'm sorry but it is just the worst okay and you know these colors are just not pigmented they are not fun to use like they just they suck okay they're not great so I will be giving this one to my fun little sister because that's what I do with the Sucky Palettes. It's the ones that I buy, I give to her. She loves them, it's great, it's a whole thing. Anywho, this has been a super fun, cutesy Easter look. I would swatch them, but to be honest, I can't be bothered to swatch them because I don't want to get, you know, disappointment all over myself, so. I know. Ironic. It's great. Anyway, this has been really cute. I'm so happy. I mean, I had a good Easter weekend. I'm pretty sure I worked. <laughs> I think. I don't remember a lot of things, okay? But this is gorgeous. Love it. It's great. It's fabulous. I'm happy with how it's turned out. Anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below because I make new videos every Monday and Monday. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.